I once had a teacher tell me in 12th grade that I would not last a day in New York City. The year was 2001. Now, two things here. It's a hell of a thing to tell a 12th grader. Second of all, little did we know about the cell phone mobile travel device revolution that was about to come and take us on. So, in this video, I'm gonna tell you about a few of the apps I used to try to survive here in the Big Apple. Ah. That's a very weird way to sit down. Now, before you even leave home, checking out an Airbnb is probably gonna be one of the things that you do. Now, Airbnbs can be a bit tricky because of the house rules. Some of those feel like you're gonna have a stay at a maximum security prison. Some of those are really quite nice. So what do you wanna look at for Airbnb? Well, that just kinda of depends. What exactly you plan on doing in New York City? Now, well, for us, we've gone with Williamsburg and we've gone with Chinatown, Manhattan. There's three Chinatowns, people, three of them. Brooklyn has one, as well as Flushing, Queens. We stayed in Chinatown, Manhattan, which is getting more and more expensive. So if you wanna stay in Manhattan, Washington Heights might be a good place to check out. And another thing, the neighborhoods are so different in New York City. You don't just say, I wanna stay in New York City. Do you wanna stay in Astoria? Do you want to stay in Greenpoint? Uh, East Village, uh, Lower East Side, Manhattan? Perhaps there's somewhere in the Bronx that you want to kick it at. You're going to have to kind of do your own research there. This is the city to totally customize what kind of experience you want to have just by doing a slight bit of YouTube homework on neighborhoods because people are vlogging around here all the time, unlike me, <laughs> which is why I love this place so, so much. You can definitely find something that suits what you and your family are going to be looking for here in NYC. Another app I always, always talk about is Secret of Flying to try to find a deal if you're about flying to New York City. And it might get to the point where you gotta shut those push notifications off because say you're working in your cubicle and wanna go to a faraway place and that round trip to Bali is 225. My impulse purchase. So be aware of that with Secret of Flying. Try this app called Any Ride because it's going to compare prices between Lyft and Uber. So you can see which one's got the best fare during those peak hours, off peak hours. And if your discounts are already in place for the app, so still work there using the Any Ride app to getting an unlimited Metro card for 33 bucks. It's unlimited rides for seven days. That could be a way to go. It was just a nice, convenient option to have in your back pocket, quite literally, when doing you're traversing around New York City. Whoa, 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 whoa. We gotta stop the video and the podcast right now because I left out the most crucial app that I think you need as far as getting around New York City. That app is called City Mapper. We pretty much laid on it like it was a bed to get around New York City. What it's gonna tell you is what's the bus like? What's the ferry like? North and southbound trains is gonna tell you which one you're gonna wanna take when you're exiting the subway. It's gonna tell you which one you wanna take. City Mapper is key. And don't you worry if you don't get it just right when you're reading it or when you're just on the subway, you might get a little bit off track. You're never really lost in New York City. You just don't know exactly where you are at a particular point in time. New York subways are very, very forgiving for any little error that you can make. And trust me, as a guy, the first time I didn't want to even hop trains, that's why I didn't even want to change trains. Crazy now that I think about it. But it is a very forgiving city. And sometimes getting off the beaten path is where you're going to find so much cool stuff in New York. City Mapper, download that one for sure. The Traverse around NYC. All right, let's finish the show up. So here's something you might not think about. Moving all the apps you're gonna use a lot in New York City to your front page of your phone or the second page, just where you can get to it quickly on your smartphone. My final really weird app to get is your music app of choice, whether it be Pandora, Spotify, Apple Music, and get your headphones ready to go. They're gonna have a situation where it can just get kind of awkward riding the subway, <laughs> just staring one direction, emotionless. You don't want to bother people, but then again, uh, you don't want to seem like you're zonked out too much or anything like that. Throw some headphones on, listen to a podcast or two, which I recommend the Carolina Photography Podcast or the Jaeger Shots Podcast. Either one of those will work just fine to get you through your trick around New York City. Uh, we'll talk to you later on. Hit that like button if you like and subscribe to Never Miss a Shot from JaegerShots.com.
Thank you.